Over the years, Blender was seen by many as just another free hobbyist 3D software. But in the last decade or so, it started to gain popularity among 3D users. This especially accelerated in the last five years after what we have seen with Blender 2.8. And one area that I personally find interesting to use Blender is modeling. And to be precise, hard surface modeling specifically. So why is this the case? How Blender turned from just another software to one of the best, if not the best, 3D software for hard surface modeling? And what is the impact of all of this on the industry at large? Before we continue, let me take a moment and tell you about this free modeling masterclass. Are you an artist who aspires to land your dream job in the VFX or the video game industry? If this is the case, then this free hard surface modeling masterclass by industry professional JL Musi, an artist with almost a decade of experience under his belt, will help you get started. He has worked with many studios in the film and video game development industry, and he has some of the best 3D tutorials on YouTube, and has created educational content for big companies like Autodesk. This training will simplify the workflow of creating any hard surface model through a simple step-by-step -step process, hitting all the important landmarks like modeling, UV layout, and texturing with a ton of tips and tricks. This class is structured for all skill levels. So whether you are a beginner or a seasoned artist, there is something for everyone. So what are you waiting for? Click the link in the description and register for free to the hard surface modeling class and level up your career right now. Hard surface modeling is a technique that I believe existed since the beginning of 3D modeling. It is basically a method that artists adapt to create non-organic objects or what I like to call human-made objects, but you know, they can be made by aliens too. Anyways, it is a set of techniques such as bullying, extrusion, and beveling, which are used to create objects such as vehicles, buildings, weapons, and other man-made objects. Even though throughout the years, it became more and more synonymous with sci-fi design, because this is where you will see a lot of this type of modeling. However, don't let that definition fool you, because hard surface modeling is more than just having technical modeling skills. It is also a collection of philosophies, design theories, and an art form that needs a striking balance between realistic representation of tech and creativity at the same time to add flavor to your projects. So the question is, is Blender up to the challenge? And if it is, how did it do that? Alright, now here is the situation. The very least that could be said about Blender compared to its competitors is that it takes a unique approach to hard surface modeling. However, unfortunately, it goes both ways. But why is that? Well, depending on where you stand on the spectrum, it can be either a love it or hate it type of deal. But we can boil it down to two main reasons, which we'll discover in a second in a later part of this video. But to keep things simple, in terms of tools and features, it differs in some areas from the other software. But I would say that Blender is rather similar to most software in the market, and it includes all the fundamental modeling tools, such as extrusion, inset, chamfering, and other stuff. The thing is, instead of relying on clickable buttons in the interface to access all the tools like the majority of 3D software, it relies more on keyboard shortcuts. Personally, I love shortcuts, because it is a nice approach and I think it is a much intuitive and faster style of modeling. But generally speaking, I would say someone who has never touched a 3D software before will find the Blender approach a little bit intimidating. On the other hand, someone who has been using for example a software such as Max or Maya for years will likely find the shortcut system refreshing or annoying depending on how much you like shortcuts. In Max, for example, you can do everything using menus or only using shortcuts and apparently, a lot of people think that only Blender have this feature, which is modeling using shortcuts. I think just because it is apparent and more obvious in Blender. Just a fun fact, software such as Max has what is called export mode, where you can only see the 3D viewport, 
so anything else has to be done using shortcuts or right-click menus. On the other hand, like Max and Maya, the use of interface button is also possible within Blender. But I feel like in terms of how the UI is designed, it encourages more the use of shortcuts. What's important to mention is that Blender is a free software, and it made hard surface modeling for the first time accessible to anyone at a professional level, in a level was never seen before, which opened the door for a lot of talented artists to create amazing projects. Another reason that makes Blender a unique hot surface modeling software is obviously its add-ons. I have done a lot of modeling over the years, especially hard surface modeling. And to be honest, I have seen people use Blender over the years. But I wasn't really interested, since I was using other software such as Max, Maya, ZBrush, and other software for hard surface modeling. That is, until I saw what Blender can do when it comes to hard surface modeling using add-ons. I was hooked immediately, because no other 3D software at the time could do that with the same efficiency. From what I can see, Blender has arguably the best hard surface modeling add-ons in the market today, and hands down, they are also some of the best modeling tools out there. To be fair, there are also many add-ons for other 3D software such as Max, Maya, and Cinema 4D, and they can do a great job too. But I would say Blender developers had more incentive and more time to make their add-ons better. They are kind of small software inside Blender. And while there are too many add-ons for this to cover in this video alone, we can mention for example Hard Ops and Box Cutter, two of the most popular Blender add-ons of all time, and they are all about speed and efficiency. Hard Ops for example provides a small menu that regroups a variety of hard surface modeling tools for boolean operations, solidify and more, instead of spending hours going back and forth between tedious Blender menus, whereas Box Cutter can instantly apply booleans to our models by quickly drawing the shapes we want, which can save us a lot of time and effort. We also have, for example, Mesh Machine, an add-on that features a collection of tools that get rid of the many limitations Blender has when it comes to modeling, such as the ability to add impossible bevels or resolve tricky geometry overlaps. But we are still touching the tip of the iceberg because Blender has one of the biggest add-on collections that you can find in any other 3D software. And if you're interested, you will find some of the add-ons down in the description. So I hope you guys found this video useful and informative. If you have something to add, please leave it in the comment section below. Thank you guys very much for watching and I will see you in the next one.